met a gypsy. We could have done more. Not saying we could have won the title, or I'm not saying we could have won all these all these races. But I just I was never at home on the bikes. I wasn't. What What is the main differences like? If If you had to kind of obviously everything, but like yeah. the like, the stiffness. Um, the stiffness is way more there. There's less that's feel. Yeah. And there's, well, and there's less, yeah. And there's just, like I said, I was going to say, there's just complete less feel and yeah. you got the casings of the tire in MotoGP are a lot stiffer mm -hmm. than they are on super bikes. So you've got, you know, everything that's just working differently where super bike, you have so much feel, you know, with the bike and you can, you can do things differently and, and pivot it and kind of rotate it in the middle of the corner. Cause the grip from the tires is a little bit lower, but it's also got that roll uh, yeah, in the casing yeah, yeah. where the GP bikes, it's just, a, it's a completely stiff. different thing, yeah. you know? And if you want to, if, if you're wanting to get the, you know, the bike to have that little bit more bite or on a super bike, you could, if you're going through a corner, you could just kind of get back to the gas a little bit and then get off of it and get it to kind of get down and tighten mm. up and finish the corner where a GP bike, those little increments in the corner upset the bike instead of stabilize or it, or it doesn't change it. Mm. You know, it kind of, you can, where you kind of get to the throttle, you could get the rear spin and without the bike actually dipping down or the front changing because they're just so stiff and they mm. have, you know, I would say they have half the weight transfer as in just front to back when you're braking or, or something like that. Yeah, which that's kind of everything. Like yeah. when I'm riding a moto, that's mm -hmm. sort of what I'm the first port of call is mm -hmm. to just balance out the bike so that it's not having these big weight transfers back yeah. and back and front or not enough. It's it's transfer. more almost thinking about like having a, uh, you know, a new motard bike and it's got, you know, motocross suspension on it with slick tires. Like mm. you, you feel that type of weight transfer compared to a fully set up super moto bike that's you know that's the difference you're looking at with superbike and gp yeah and flex is such a crazy thing i was watching uh i think it's mike on bikes if you, i don't know if you've ever seen his youtube mm -hmm. channel there's this guy that has this fantastic youtube channel he's a european guy and yeah he explains so much about you know like just rotating mass and the gyroscopic effect like he really breaks down the science of motorcycles and i kind of never really understood exactly what flex was mm -hmm. and it's basically no i'm not telling you this like you don't know but <laughs> it's like when you lean the bike over the suspension stops going up and down and the force starts going up and basically lifting the tire off the ground so if you hit a, mm -hmm. a bump or the tire is then going to go vertically yeah and it's like if you don't that's where the stiffness and rigidity comes in because if you have a little bit of flex when you're on the side of the bike you actually the front wheel has a bit of room to go yep. upwards or on like a horizontal plane mm -hmm. and all the rear has a bit to go on a horizontal plane yeah but that's all in metal <laughs> yeah. like that's the that's chassis yeah. suspension essentially like that's probably the easiest way of saying it, is like once you tip the bike over to a certain point the suspension stops going up and you're expecting the chassis to be suspension yeah and the, the way the front of the the front of the head spar works and the chassis getting the right flex and that you know and that's you know two examples of kind of talking like that was racing at imola you know we um we raced there and we tested there you know in the 09 season but when we got there i mean i wasn't in the race for the win i was in the race for like third or fourth and no matter what i did you know we couldn't get that bike to work and then the ducati it was that trellis chassis mm. so the thing flexed and it just walk away from you and it's like god like it's it's such a big difference and then you know kind of looking back at ama days there was a track called brainerd and turn one is wicked fast it was on a super bike it was pretty much you know six gear getting down on the end of straightaway no brakes back one gear and pretty much wide open no it's wicked <laughs> and, it, and it's banked and it's kind of bumpy and it's gnarly but i remember watching kaczynski go through there on a ducati and the ducatis they were just so much better through there because they had the flex yeah. and it you could just like a good rider a good mechanic could go sit at the end of pit wall and watch you know a cowie superbike come through there like chandler came through there and then here comes kaczynski you can just see it i mean it's night and day different so there's there's that you know that fine line of having the right flex but not too much you yeah. know the, it's tough 
We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.